Welcome back to another Cavalry One Minute Wonder. I'm Kyle, and today I'm going to show you how to recreate this DNA helix design in Cavalry in under a minute. Let's go. Option click to add an ellipse to our scene, change the radius to 50, option enter, set both values, go to position, right click, add behavior, oscillator on the X, and then change this value to negative 200 to 200. Then on the ellipse shape, go to scale, add behavior on the oscillator X and Y, and then on this oscillator, change the type to cosine to be the opposite of sine, the min value to 0.5 and the maximum to one. Group the ellipse, add this to a duplicator, change the distribution to point the count to two, right click shape time offset and add a value array. Add a second value to this array and set that to 25. Now you can hit command period to search for point to path, add a point to path, change the point source to sub mesh and add our duplicator. Now we can group all of these objects, add this to a duplicator, change the distribution to linear, the direction to vertical, change the count to 10 and increase them until they're no longer overlapping. Right click, add behavior, stagger, and then you can increase this until you see the helix. And that's all you get. Just kidding. I just wanted to make good on my promise to give you something in under a minute, but we're definitely going to color this. So what I have here is a palette I created and you can download it. I'm going to put it in the description and you want to create an array from palette by just selecting the burger and going to create array from palette. Now we can connect this directly to the points to path stroke color and we can also connect it to the ellipse shape fill color. But you're going to see what's going to happen is that this illusion that some of these objects are passing back and forth in front of one another is going to break not only because of the line but even the color of the objects themselves. So like so to avoid that what I'm going to do is just change this so that each bar is going to be the same color. And I can do that by actually feeding this color array the indices of the second duplicator. So we can bypass the original index and only assign new color indexes based on the second duplicator, our top level one. So I'll just connect index context to the index of this color array and there you have it. Hope you got something out of this. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.